I think it's, what is it? It's November 6th, 2023. I was just meditating before bed. It's like 8 p.m. Yes, I go to bed early. I get up at 4. And daylight savings just happened, so it gets dark at like 4.30 p.m. here, Eastern Standard Time. But anyways, it doesn't matter where I look like. It's about the data. It's about the information, right? So... I was thinking about matriarchal lineages and how when your mother is inside your grandmother's womb, the fetus creates about 6 million eggs or egg cells. And then when the, the baby is fully developed and born, there's like one to two million eggs left. So technically, I, my, the cell that created me, was not only in my mother, but it was in my grandmother. And my mother was not only in my grandmother, but within my great-grandmother. So there's one... separation between me and my great grandmother on, on the, the linear side of of your biology whereas when a man produces sperm like on your father's side it, they're just making fresh stuff so they made that within that week of you being born, whereas the cell that made you as an egg was made with the DNA of your inside your mother, who is inside your grandmother at the time. And I'm looking backwards, but this also works forward. So now, if you, a woman today that's making decisions with her body is making decisions for her grand female grandchildren. And I was just thinking how how important this is because it, it, between the damage that you do to to a female body, right? So if a woman is doing Drugs, drinking, acid, mushrooms, manual labor, malnutrition, anorexia, bulimia. Those cells and that DNA that's creating those cells are affected by the actions of that woman. And they affect the, the female that that she makes if she gives birth to a female and then the cells inside that female that then get transferred onto the next generation. So there's an overlap there where there's, where a man can make changes, get healthy, eat right, nutrition and all that stuff and break the cycle and have good, healthier sperm. Now, the DNA strandings overall... Um, can be clean, but I'm talking about damaging of the overlapping cells uh, during the process of replication. <sighs> like if there was a skip in a printing machine or a typewriter or something, uh, when you're developing something. And this goes for like plastics in the water, chemicals, you know, sunscreens, aerosols, living in the city, breathing in car stuff, whatever the negative effects, those cells and those eggs are carried. They're not, you know, some of them do die and the stronger ones survive or the ones that just happen to be dropping as the, into that ovulation for that particular period where they're having, <sighs> Unprotected sex, but I was just thinking how could this is like a um, 
So with modern day feminism, it's gone to a point where they're saying everybody's exactly the same as man. And the only thing different is if, you know, it's because they were oppressed for so long. And if they weren't oppressed, they'd be just as strong or they weren't protected as enough. But the reason that the survival from the evolution had to happen is because there was a value put on to... Um, those eggs and those cells not being damaged for two layers, for two generations. So if the grandmother has issues, then not only does the daughter have issues, but the daughter's eggs have issues for the next generation. So, you know, that, you know, so I'm just thinking about like, you know, if you're putting dyes into your skin with tattooing, if you're doing drugs, drinking alcohol, partying, putting yourself in dangerous situations, um, all this stuff. So the idea that mankind is oppressing women by asking them to be gentle and calm and feminine and stay safe within a sanctuary or safe haven or a home. When it's actually... You know, I, I know that they see the patriarchy as God and the logical fabrics of the universe, but that's what they, that's what they uh, were born into. And I guess there's people making arguments that, well, just because they were born like that doesn't mean that they have to do that stuff. And they don't. But it's a pretty selfish act that if you want to have children or decide to have children... That, yeah, during pregnancy, um, you know, people are like, I got to stop drinking and all this stuff. But you, the eggs are inside you the whole time. So anything that you're doing to those cells is taking part of the other cells. And, the, and, and, and similar to men, you know, although, uh, so, so like as men age, right? If you ask a female biologist, <laughs> I actually had this argument with a female biologist. So, sperm is always being recreated, right? But as you age, your DNA can um, mutate in a manner where you still have the same DNA, but you're, you're replicating and producing sperm. If you're not as healthy, if you've been sickly, if you've been punishing your body through drugs, alcohol, age, non malnutrition, or not eating properly, or proper and not exercising, not hydrating, all this stuff, when you produce sperm, the sperm will be different and mutated slightly. So, but that can be corrected through testing the sperm, diet, exercise, eating healthy. Now, of course, there's going to be a level. Where it's, uh, you can't do everything perfect, you know what I mean? So it's like, what is it to be healthy? And it's like, well, there's no perfect health because as it stands right now, we're constantly deteriorating. So you can't, you can't move faster than time or at this point. At the point when Brian Johnson might figure, <laughs> might figure it out, and there might be some stuff in the future, but women, on the other hand, from a young age, uh, if they decide to have children, then the steward of those young women, the you know, girls, may grow into women want to have babies it's the responsibility of the parents to protect that individual so that they're protecting the eggs and the future offsprings of the grandchildren because those cells are already in there at birth and they've been in there you know like i said in the beginning it's just crazy so on the female side you have a dual overlap so it's going to take a minimum of two generations to fix DNA issues or damage from mutations or poor choices in the female lineage side. But technically you could break the cycle of, of that in one with a man. 
And what do I mean like that? I mean, if your grandmother was sick, doing drugs, alcohol and stuff, and she made your mother, your mother was not only getting uh, the, uh, the eggs were being damaged and processed and turned into, I mean, but the cells inside your mother that were going to create the eggs were as too. So you are being damaged, made with damaged pieces, <laughs> kind of, from your, from your, uh, from your grandmother. And by damaged and mutated, I'm not saying that necessarily in a negative way. But I am saying off baseline, and most of the stuff that's off baseline is probably a negative effect that's getting damaged and not being damaged in a good manner. So, <sighs> as far as the argument then of feminism, where women want to go out and do dangerous activities, drugs, alcohol, Tattoos, partying, unprotected sex, STDs, uh, risk of diseases, and what have you. Uh, all that stuff and all the medication and everything that goes into that is also hitting the eggs. Birth controls, chemicals, all that stuff, whatever you're putting in your body is going into your body and is going into the eggs. It's not a separate circle. And again, you know, it's it's men too. They don't get off the hook except for we're producing as men fresh sperm. So if you want to, let's just say the target is to have kids and bring this in and the target kids and you're going to sin. You miss the target because you're damaging your eggs through um, bad activities and improper health and ingesting chemicals or doing drugs or whatever. And you're a man too, you do the same thing and you're getting low sperm count, no erections, ruining your stuff through bad, bad, <sighs> oh, excuse me, bad health. You can correct that, hence repenting for the sin of missing the target. The sin is, if this is an aim and you miss the aim, that's sinning. You can correct and repent easier than a female who has to not only repent for herself, clean up her stuff, and have a child. She then needs to teach the child all the mistakes that she made so it does not do the same thing with its eggs and has its child and saves maybe for later on in life to do, drink some wine and stuff like that. So that they can have a grandchild from a mother who didn't do anything. So that that kid can be cleaned up for a no overlap to finally produce somebody that's out of the woods. That doesn't have that two layers of bad choice overlap. Because even one person within that chain starts it all over again. So a, a woman today... That's going to be, we're like, oh, this mother, this mother, this, looking at women, my mother. Look, we need to start looking at women. And they're not going to like this, but start looking at women as grandmothers. Because their choices are going to affect not only their child, their female children and their male children, but their female children, but their female grandchildren. Because the cells that are in their daughters are the same cells that are going to make up the eggs of their grandchildren. So, not to make dating any more difficult for men, um, but a good woman, and this is crazy to even think about, a really good woman is going to think about being a grandmother. Not just a mother. <laughs> and the lineage of that and how that's going to affect two, at least a minimum of two generations. So, anyways, these are the crazy thoughts that go through my head when I'm 
meditating before bed, but I'm going to go back to bed. I'm obviously super relaxed, so this is what it looked like when I do a video cast. I don't give a fuck because it's about the ideas. It's not about the studio, so hopefully you learn something from this. All right, peace.